I am Daryl Anger, and I'm the head honcho here at the Artist Works School of Fiddling, in which we uh, explore a lot of different styles of fiddling, centering on good old American fiddling and bluegrass and, uh, and just about everything else, actually. So um, this is just a little mini lesson. I'm going to talk to you guys about holding that bow. You know, the, the bow is really where we do the business here. Um, uh, you know, it's important to be able to play in tune, play all the notes, but if you don't have that nice groove on the bow, then it really is not fiddling. So um, that's something that we all work on all our lives. Uh, we all struggle with that. And I've just got a couple of quick little hints here. Uh, this is one of our 12 essential things that we need to do um, with fiddling. So first of all, we want to make sure that our grip on the bow is relaxed. Um, you know, we want to, it's, it's really tough to get everything aligned and perfect and get it, you know, at, especially at first, you know, trying to do all these different things that we're not, you know, we don't walk around like this uh, when we're like doing our business on the street, things like that, right? So it's not a natural position. So we have to learn that position. So we spend a lot of time trying to perfect it, you know, and then it's important that we try to relax, you know, and that's part, part uh, that gets people because people, um, we all try to have a lot of control. You know, this bow needs to be controlled and we try to control it and the best, and people tend to try to put it way out in their fingers and put a lot of control on that bow by spreading their fingers out. Now that's kind of, at first, that feels like the thing to do because you're just trying to make the bow do what you want. After a while, as you get comfortable with it, it's you know that you need more flexibility and you're not, this is not a flexible grip. So what we do is we try to get people to, if you look, um, we, tilt, we tilt our forearm over. It's like we're looking at our watch oh, it's time to fix my bow grip, right? You know, so th that for forearm tilting, like you're looking at your watch, is a big part of fixing our grip. So we go from this to this. The, bow, the, the arm tilts over, and you can see that what happens is that the, the uh, hand flops over and assumes a little bit more, wraps around the bow a little bit more angles. And so that means that our little finger is ready to counterbalance that bow at any moment, but it might not always be touching, but it's always ready for action, right? Why are we, why do we tilt this over? Because then, look at this, we can see that our wrist is able to move in the same direction as the bow, and of course the move, bow has to go, has to exact direction the bow has to go and our wrist has to be flexible enough to do that because if we do it if we flatten our arm out like this and then if we want to play fast it's our whole arm working and we don't we don't need that it's too hard to do um, so when we tilt over like this all of a sudden we can use our wrist because it's moving in the same direction as the bow and then you can notice that my arm's been hardly moving at all. So we spend a lot of time on this. I've got a lot of lessons dealing with this bow grip, and that's super important. I think it's just part of what makes fiddling enjoyable and fun, and that is such a big part of what we do here at Artistworks. It's just trying to get people to have fun by getting a little better on their instrument and being able to do more. So that's, that's what we're about. So. That's, um, that's just a little, tiny little example of some of the stuff you'll see uh, on, on the Artistworks School of Fiddling, along with some great interviews of great fiddlers. We're adding those all the time. Uh, people talking about how they play, what they play. We've got some Scandinavian people. We've got old time. We've got uh, Texas style uh, and some jazz players. So, uh, and we're always adding people. So we've got that. We've got uh, submitting uh, you can actually submit your own video of yourself, just like I'm doing here. You can just take it with your iPhone or whatever and uh, send it in. So it's about a three-minute thing, three or four minutes. It doesn't matter. Um, 
and then I will personally respond to your personal video with a personal <laughs> bit of advice on how to do whatever you're doing. Try to get it a little better and just get it more fun, easy, enjoyable, and musical so you can have more fun playing music. All right. Does that sound okay? I think so. All right.